and it is Bouchesha, so he can do that to you. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So. Drone Gabriel starts out strong and. Yeah, and this is, I, this, it's, it's not necessarily that it's a surprise to me. It's, it's one of those things that if this, is, if this is the strategy that he wants and this is how he wants to go, then this yeah. is how he's going to do it. Yeah. But yeah. one has to wonder that if some of the things that have gone wrong from on, on in the past have been because he hasn't been able to manage the full 10 minutes. Yeah, well. yeah. And Jean Gabriel did not do the open yesterday. I don't. I don't know. Have any intel of why? So my understanding but is that he did, in fact, uh, abstain from the absolute so that he could save his energy so for the division finals, potentially yeah. with Bouchesha. That was my guess. Osha in the white, reigning champion in the blue, oh. and really. Oh. Hosha's key here to defeat is to stay tied up. If if Hoshesha shoots in and Hosha has nothing, no grips, it's yeah. he can go from on your on your leg to double and then he takes people backwards, gets on their hips so well. And that's where Hosha has to be very cautious. There are a few people that can size up against Bouchesha. And yeah. I think that that's one of the reasons why he, he he's such a mismatch for so many. Yep. Uh, but Hosha is one of the few that can. He is, yeah. There's a stomp clap going on in the audience right now, and it is grossly out of sync, Sean. <laughs> now pulling the lapel of Hosha out. My, that, that indicates to me that he wants a single with the lapel. That's what I'm going to guess. Yeah. I guess he wants to do a single and get that lapel. Uh. Bouchesha, a better wrestler than he is in traditional throws. Was often the difference in his matches with Hadolfo for a long period of time. He even said the very first time that he was able to beat him that he had worked on his wrestling as he felt like that was the thing that could define the match and create a difference, and it was. Both of the, I had gotten a message on social media earlier, someone asking about the black belt with the white bar, both of these gentlemen having that traditionally marked that they are a black belt and a student. Is that correct, Sean? Well, you know, I, I actually think that uh, you have to have a bar on your black belt to compete. And so I, I think a lot of people just put white tape on it. I don't, you know, you, you you may be right. I I, I thought that the, the you could be right about that. I don't I don't know, but uh, I had just thought uh, that it was a that the IBJJF uh, required you to have a bar on your belt, and so a lot of them just put white tape on their black belt. But yeah, dirty secret to the weigh-in process sometimes is that. When you're really struggling on the weight, people will go out and buy karate belts, which happen to be just super light. A little bit lighter than a jiu-jitsu <laughs> black belt. So that may be true. Now they're grip fighting here. Things are heating up here as three minutes have already oh, expired. Swipe in there. Shot in for a single by Bouchesha. And you know what I don't hear right now, Sean, is Joao Gabriel's wife, who usually you can hear over everybody else in the crowd. Hmm. Foot sweep attempt there mm -hmm. by Joao Gabriel. And they're going to get called for passivity here. 
I don't think it's not, not necessarily because either of them aren't working. I think they're just stalemating each other mm -hmm. a bit here. Yep. Here's the thing. Deadlines are going to drive results in this match. That's right. The clock is a weapon. It is. And we'll see who uses it first. Bushesha nearly missing on that shot. Yeah, he swiped and a swing and a miss. But And this is how these two athletes are really different. So Bushesha can afford to make mistakes. We've seen him before. He's, yeah, yeah. He, he, he'll, he'll play fast and loose sometimes. Joao Gabriel, in this match, he can't. Yeah. He can't afford that. It's a good assessment. You're right. We've actually seen Bouchesha make mistakes in matches with Joao Gabriel before. Yep. Mistakes in that Joao Gabriel was able to capitalize on some things. Yeah, he's got the speed and the strength to recover from mistakes. Ooh, nice foot with sweet attempt. A large thud that Boom. you could hear. I don't know if you guys could hear that at home, but it was a real dense knock that sounded across the stadium here. We're about half done already. Five minutes, 13 seconds left to go. And some more passivity calls here. Now tied up two penalties, one advantage each. This <laughs> adds a little saltiness to the match. That is good. You know, you've got to wonder too. Wuchesh has got to got to know now. He doesn't have another match. You know, he, yeah, he, yeah, the absolute is, is done. So you can see, and he looks fresh still. You know, yep. yesterday one of the things that I think we noticed was he looked a little bit out of breath. He looked like, and here he is shooting in on a single here. But a snap down. Wow, and a little extra push. Yep. Mohosha well, fired up. And that's the thing, you can't you can't miss. You can't <laughs> miss. A little gamesmanship know. here. You can't miss and have uh, Joel Hosha get a grip on your back. You're gonna get extended. It's a rough place to be when someone has a good grip on your back and can snap you down well. And As we just saw with Muhammad Ali and, and Leandro. And we saw a little bit of change in strategy from both guys there for a minute. You, you can see they, they were starting to wrestle as opposed to, to, to kind of tie up here. I'm going to get reset back here in the middle. And I'm wondering, you know, that the, because, okay, historically, I don't have the data to say how, how many matches Jean Gabriel is winning for how long, but, you know, the, does the longer this one go, does the more advantage to Jean Gabriel? Because usually he is winning than the... In, in the contest early, you know, the longer this one go on the feet. Anybody that's can com competed in jiu-jitsu um, competitively for a long period of time at a high level can tell you, you start to hear voices in your head, more so when you're ahead than whenever you're behind. Mm -hmm. When you're ahead, you start to tell yourself, oh my gosh, I'm, am I gonna win this match? Am I gonna beat Boucher? <laughs> yeah. Who am I gonna face in the next? Yeah. Those, start to qu those questions can be your worst enemy sometimes. Yeah. And you wonder if Joao Gabriel is hearing some of those voices in the past whenever he's He's gotten ahead on Bouchesha only to have things fall apart on him. And I, I, I think you might be right, Sean. Having this thing go a little bit longer may work in his, his favor. Yep. As oh, now Bouchesha's in on a single. This is where he's dangerous. Whoa, Chimata counter, though. Joao Gabriel looking up at everybody. <laughs> like, make Say sure no, you no. guys saw I finished yeah. on top, right? Yeah, that's right. That should be nothing now. No, I don't think that's anything. Yep, and they're just started back here in the middle. But it looked like Bouchesha was going to get him down, and I then know. the last minute he countered. Countered with a little Uchimata. Now, now they're now they're essentially going to do a three-minute jujitsu match. Yeah, that's right. And that actually, I would say, if it not doesn't favor Joao Gabriel, but I think given his choice, he would take a three-minute match now, with Bouchesha versus a ten-minute one. Definitely. And now he shoots in for his own single. Not something that I really. I mean, that was. 
just to get him out of bounds. I think he yeah. should stick to what he does best, though. Yeah, I agree. Tie up those grips. That's what he does best. Bushesh is the one that shoots here. That's what he does. And these guys have fought each other a lot, Sean. Oh, man, yeah. And every time, Joao Gabriel just a little bit shy. Yep. Cheshire clubbing at that left hand of Joao Gabriel. Two minutes, 24 seconds left to go. Cheshire probably the closest on that last single that we've seen. Yeah. The shot that Joao Gabriel took, not near as deep. About two minutes left to go here. Our official looking intently here. Shesha got to be careful about driving in too hard. Yeah. This is and the game of chicken is over. So I said earlier, Sean, that deadlines drive results. This is it now. No more, no more penalties. They cannot afford a penalty. And we have a minute and 39 seconds left. So put your big point, big boy pants on, ladies and gentlemen. This thing's about to get pretty intense here yep. in the next 90 seconds. Keenan Cornelius, please report to the main table with your D on. So just to clarify for those at home, if either competitor receives another penalty, they'll be disqualified. And so now they all they both know it means business. Not only that, there's only 90 seconds left and it's Cheshire wants to shoot here. It's deadlocked, yeah. He doesn't want to tie up again. You can see he's, he's stepping back to, to time the, the, the forward step of yeah. Sean Gabriel. He so. does not want him to get tied up on the collars again. He wants to shoot from the outside here. Sort of fading back, and when Sean Gabriel steps forward, that's when he wants to go. One minute, nine seconds. Something big is about to happen. You can feel it. Wow. And there it is. <laughs> Cleared out. I don't think that's going to warrant an advantage or anything. No. He, he landed square. He didn't, didn't land. Yeah. He landed on face his down. Back or anything. He had his balance. Wasn't ever really at risk of actually being taken down. But that could play out for a decision. Yes. Should it go to decision, I would say that Bouchesha has had the better takedown attempt so far. But it's close. Yep. I can feel another big moment building here, Sean. 30 seconds left. Well, Bushesh has had some very exciting endings to a lot of his matches. Yeah. So. And there's a drop. Sayonagi! Can Gabriel finish? He can't. Nope. And now he has to be really careful. That could cost him the match if he can't get back up to his feet here. He's gonna get up with the elbow. Bouchesh is countering, almost hits a go behind. Trying to hip drag. Gabriel up to his knees now, and that's the time. <laughs> Sean, this is a coin flip. I don't know who you give it to. You it's know. hard. It, it's hard to take it away from Bouchesha. Yeah, it, is, it is, it is, When I it's agree. this close, to me, nice... to me, it doesn't get much more dead even than no. this. Uh -huh. They both had their, I mean, gosh, if you really made me pick, I might say Bouchesha had a couple deeper, closer takedowns, but I almost feel silly saying that I, you know, well, one I, guy I wouldn't, is going to get the edge yeah, over the other. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you, especially that last little trip over by the out of bounds. Let's see what our officials think. Yep, unanimous. All, all, 
All officials agree. Marcus Bouchesh Almeida, five-time men's ultra heavyweight champion, five-time men's world absolute champion. A record you have to ask, John, will it ever be broken? Well, there's a, that's the 11th, and then the, will be 12th on the open. And Joel Gabriel deflated. Well, what a really nice contest there. Back and forth, standing position. And, and Joao, Joao Gabriel, one of the best matches I've seen him have with yeah, Shesha, One of the most competitive ones, but... If, if it's, let's play devil's advocate here. If you're Joao Gabriel, is that really the match that you want to go down as that's the one that I won against Bouchesha? No, yeah. I, 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 well, I mean, I think he's probably doesn't really care, <laughs> sure, to be honest. Take whatever, but. <laughs> uh, you win, you win on that, in this, on this close of a match. But, uh, but I, I don't think it's, I, I, I think that you could argue slightly more in favor of a Bouchesha decision. I kind of agree with you there. Both had their things, both had their takedown attempts and near successes and very hard. That was a hard call. You, you could, I think you could probably, you watch the match again, you could probably make a real strong case for Jean Gabriel as well. But And it's a little bittersweet here, Sean, because, you know, in a lot of ways, we watched what, you know, you typically might see at the end here, which is a Bouchesha match, which is your absolute final. And we're not going to get that now, I'm afraid. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I guess one of the things that is sort of fair to, to ask here is, you know, how many more is Bouchesha going to try to go after? He already competes in pretty limited quantity. I mean, he does the worlds and yeah. very little else. 